Where's Santa Car? I got photos of Santa. Trying to leave off. And I'm not in the Hobo Depot. Hobo Depot right there, though. <laughs> like today is OG day. Let me pull my cord. Pick my cord up. Boy, it's getting harder and harder to pick cords up, man. Much because I'm getting younger. <laughs> we all getting younger. So anyway, check this out. So this day is an OG day. It means I went back and, and pulled out the 1970 Music Man 65. All right. When I say 1970, I mean 70-ish. All right. This is all original. The head is original. Cab is original. Nothing has been done to it. She's all original. And she's beautiful. For her age, she is absolutely beautiful. She got a couple scars, but nothing like ripped off, you know, cover and all. Ain't none of that. Um, the head sounds amazing. And what we have here is we're going back to old school, y'all. So I pulled out my, my P-Bass <laughs> with the, the old 1970 DiMaggio's in it. All right? So we're going to actually hear some old G stuff. I said old G stuff. I mean OG stuff. Because I'm OG. That's why I pulled it out. I could have pulled out my music, man, but eh, I decided to pull out the old P because the P was the sound at that particular time. The music man came on the scene around 76. These girls been out for a minute. All right, so let's let's look at the head. The head is a 60, a 65 head, and it has, you know, input one, input two, and then it has a normal switch, and then it has a bright switch. So it's really the same switch, but you can go normal and bright. And then you have volume, treble, mid and bass on this side all right and then if you go side two you have input one input two volume treble mid bass and then at the very end you have a master and you talking about some serious bottom this thing will do it man i mean bottom for days um and still have to clean the vipe i said the vipe the bite man <laughs> i said i said the vipe it still had the same bite that, that don't even make any sense. But I said it. Anywho. Alright, so then at the end, you have deep and you have the deep and the normal um, switch on the very end too. Which is kind of cool, man. This head is like before his time. I think Music Man was really Leo was really thinking during this time, man. He, he I, I think he was so innovative that he didn't know he was innovated. <laughs> Alright, so let's hear how it sounds. Alright, so we're gonna go to regular P. We're gonna turn uh, listen. Oh, let me tell you my setting. Um, on the first set, I'm in number one hole, number one input right now. So I'm going to number, th I'm going to three volume. I'm going to um, four treble, three mid, and five bass. All right, that's where I'm going. It's outdoors, so I can put a little bit more on it. Um, but normal setting, I'm normally at three ish, three ish, maybe two ish, two and a half. All right, so let's turn it on. Okay, here we go. Now this is the P sound of the 70s. Alright, so if we turn the trouble all the way up, you get this. sounds like the head is gonna make it sound like that they're just gonna push it up and, and knock walls down while it's doing it <laughs> I said knock walls down <laughs> I like that part <laughs> now during the 70s guys started venturing into the P bass and the jazz bass pickup in the back so let's go to the jazz bass pickup in the back and the P we're picking up what we're we picking up we're picking up a different kind of tone <laughs> to remember is there's no horn in this thing now if i'm in i'm in more like bass right now like three quarters bass there's the trouble i ain't even got it up i just cracked it now during the back in the day guys would use um, ghs boomers or um uh, slinkies or something like that they was using back in the day i think it's another string they were using but i know the boomers was like the main of the main <laughs> They, it, like everybody put boomers on their bass because they like that gang gang that sound. But today I use something completely different. I use um, I use SITs 
on my basses now. And it still give me that sound. I just don't play as hard and it's more comfortable to play. And they're soft. I mean, but listen at that piano. Let's go back to the P. <laughs> you don't get that much anymore. Um, nowadays, everything is so small and so fast, so powerful. But this is old and everything sounds a lot rounder. All right, a lot more fuller. Uh, of course, you, you got the, um, the thing of you can't put a, you know, XLR out of it and run it through the house. You have to actually use this for your stage monitor now. Oh, you can put a mic in front of it, that's good. But the greatest thing about these, ba these amps is that they had the scoop. See that scoop down there? Yeah, baby. The scoop, that's what's happening. Now let's go through, let's go to uh, the bright. Now it's already, to me, I ain't even hit the bright, I'm in normal right now. But if I hit the bright, you hear that? Back to the normal. To me, the normal sounds very thick sounding. Right? Now you gotta remember this bass is not even on trouble yet. I just got trouble cracked. If I crack it all the way, it'd be killing. And I know you're like, well, crack it all the way, dude. Crack it all the way. All right, if you want me to, here you go. <laughs> now, let's crack it back. <laughs> now, when you go to two, two turns everything down. You plug it to second input, everything gets a little, a little bit softer. Okay. Not, not as loud, not as booted, but you got to remember, I got my trouble. I got my master on like four. And it's filling up this yard. And the neighbors are like, what are you doing? <laughs> and the birds falling from the air and the squirrels, they're laying on the ground in convulsions and stuff like that. <laughs> okay. Um, when you're talking old school, man, you gotta you gotta change your ear. And that's what a lot of people are not are not doing anymore. They're not going back to the old school, feeling these kind of calves, man. But you you know, who who's gonna help you tote them around? That's the key right there. Who in the world is gonna help you pick that up and tote it around? So basically if you have a stationary place, this would be a good girl. Right now, this one is stationary in my studio uh, for a while, and she may be on the way out, you know. That depends on who wants it. <laughs> But she's beautiful, and I wanted to go through it, y'all. I don't want to take a lot of time, but I want you to get the, the, the vibe of old school, real old school. Because a lot of us younger, um, you know, I call them titans, they, they don't go back to this stuff. They they so into the, the smaller stuff, and they ain't mad at them. They, they into the smaller stuff and the more powerful stuff, you know, 1,200, 2,000, 2,500, 3,000 watts. Um, but this, hey. It's just pure tone. That's all it is, pure tone. And if you want to get loud with it, it can get loud, you know? If you want to get funky with it, it can get funky. sitting at home but I want you guys to understand man sometimes you have to go back to the old stuff to get your old ear back boy I just said something really good I think I'm gonna write that down sometimes you have to go back to the old stuff to get your old ear back and old ear bringing your old ear back gives you a new vibe with the new stuff so there you have it folks I just wanted you to see the music man 65 uh, 115 RH and uh, she's beautiful she's clean if you're interested in it, give me a call. Uh, if you're interested in it, come on by. Um, check it out. I mean, check it out. Not try to blow it up. <laughs> check it out. Uh, she'll do anything you want her to do. And she's kind of she's kind of big size, but she does exactly old school. 
Once again, guys, shout out to Kaka. Thanks for checking out my videos and my channel. And thanks for subscribing. You did good, girl. You did really good. I'm proud of you. I am really proud of you.